So in this video, I'm just trying to introduce AP Biology to any students who might consider taking the course. AP Biology is a, a college-level course intended for potential biology majors. So we're introducing all of the fund fundamental areas of biology, and we're going to go quite a bit in depth. So this isn't just sort of a survey course that gets you a science credit at college. This is, we're thinking that you, you might be interested in taking this further, so we're going to give you a full introduction. Uh, for those who took introductory biology in Georgia, you'll see that many of the same topics that we covered in introductory biology will be covered again. Uh, basics of cell biology, ecology, genetics, evolution, for example. We're just going to take those topics a lot farther than we ever did in that introductory course. So a lot of new material, but hopefully a lot of refreshing of material that you've covered before. So there, is, there has been a curriculum change as well. A lot of the AP courses have been uh, changed from the College Board. AP Biology changed as of the 2013-2014 school year. Actually, the 2012-2013 school year, excuse me. And uh, what happened in that curriculum change, their, their major focus was to de-emphasize the memorization of so many facts. So we actually pared down the curriculum a little bit. You'll see that we aren't covering so much about all of the different kingdoms of life. Um, and all the different uh, groups of living organisms. And there isn't quite as heavy a coverage in um, anatomy and physiology anymore either. So we're still covering some anatomy and physiology, but certainly not a survey of every organ and every structure and what it does. Um, so where we pared down, um, we have created more space for critical thinking and analysis. So we're trying to go deeper into topics. We're trying to emphasize the mem uh, not just the memorization of factoids, but really sort of the, the, the long-term appreciation of key concepts. Um, we're trying to emphasize how science works. We're trying to emphasize the ability for students to have time to do laboratories where they're able to think through what they're doing, what the data means, uh, perform meaningful data analysis, um, maybe even criticize and present their work to colleagues um, and, and rethink um, a, a procedure if a procedure doesn't go particularly well. So um, really trying to do more real science and, and much more higher order thinking skills. Um, so the AP test has been changed as well to reflect that. Um, this is kind of an old style change that's, that's publicly available on the, on the College Board website. Um, this question just sort of gets at, um, you know, which animal group was the first to inhabit land and were ancestors of the reptiles? So just sort of, do you know your animal groups and, and sort of um, what happened in evolutionary history? That's sort of a factoid type question. Um, this is sort of a, a question from the course description, also publicly available, um, where what you're really doing here is you're being given a data set. So here, let's say that there are five species of bacteria. We've done a, um, a sequencing of their genome, and we're trying to determine, based on that sequencing, uh, who's more closely related to who. So can you take that data set, analyze it, and, uh, and, and construct the correct phylogenetic tree? So notice here that the question is much longer, that there's more reading to be do here, done here, um, and as well as sort of analyzing data. This is much more typical of the kinds of questions that, that I'm now asking on unit tests, as well as, as what we're asking on the AP test. So a lot more higher level thinking. Is it harder? Uh, course now than it was before. Um, I think it's just different. Um, probably many students would say that it's harder, perhaps, if they had a chance to take both courses, uh, because I think a lot of students um, have been very good at going through courses and memorizing things well and spitting them back out on tests. Uh, and so I think this whole emphasis now on analysis and higher level thinking is, is new for a lot of students. So um, I think it probably is harder for many students, although we're trying to build, um, you know, uh, uh, sort of uh, pre-AP experiences and honors biology and such that kind of prepare students better for this experience. Um, how else have I prepared this course in order to help you succeed with the new expectations? So I have tried to flip uh, the AP Biology uh, classroom. Um, flipping is becoming increasingly common, but for those of you who have not heard of this concept, it's the idea that we're trying to flip what you traditionally do at home and at school. 
Uh, maybe in a traditional classroom, um, the, the primary activity is lecture. The, the teacher stands up in front of everybody. The teacher is the center of the class. Um, the teacher goes at one pace, and then students go home. And for homework, they do activities that reinforce what was covered in class um, in order to succeed on the test. So in a flipped classroom, those activities are very different. Um, I'm going to ask students to watch videos in advance of classroom discussions. So now a lot of uh, their homework time is dedicated to introducing themselves to a concept through uh, videos that I've created, um, like this one. And then in, in class, instead of so much uh, heavy emphasis on lecture, there's much more time for students to talk to each other. So notice over here in this figure that, that really the center of the classroom is the student group, not the teacher. Um, the teacher is sort of maybe listening in, and, and I'll be uh, kind of uh, rolling around in my uh, wheel, wheeling chair from group to group, listening to conversations, answering questions where I can. Uh, but I really want students to talk to each other. Um, this is a social class. Um, this is a class that you want to take with friends um, so that you can um, you know, work together and have fun and help each other. Um, you're doing a lot of the things that I would imagine you're going to be doing in college as well. You know, Having late night discussions in dorm rooms while you're studying for a test, trying to figure out what's going on, what does this concept mean, um, and I'm really trying to give you the skills to succeed in college in class. Um, again, a lot of students like this, um, a lot of students don't. As with any kind of new teaching style, there are pros and cons. Um, I think that the pros outweigh the cons, that's why I've chosen to go this route. Um, students uh, often tell me they love the videos for the ability to rewatch them. So uh, maybe you watch in advance, like I suggest, and then you come to class, and then you still have questions. So you go back and you sort of target the concepts that you need to watch. You can fast forward past all the stuff you already understand. You can pause my videos. So maybe um, you want to go pause and take a break and come back and, and, and keep watching. Um, you can re-watch before the test. You can re-watch before the AP test. So there are a lot of advantages to the video system. There are also some challenges. Um, it really does require you to be more responsible in class. You have to be responsible enough to set a schedule to watch the videos when I want you to watch them. Uh, are there students that I have had that have not watched the videos in advance to coming to class? Certainly yes. Uh, and I think that a lot of those students have been kind of lost. Um, and it's, it's kind of a waste of time for them to be in class because people around them are talking and they have no idea what's going on and they're very frustrated. So you have to be responsible um, and you have to be willing to be sort of at center stage during class time. Um, you can no longer just sort of lounge back and let me do all the work. Um, I'm putting the responsibility of work on you. So uh, here are currently how I can uh, do grades. This could change depending on, on feedback that I get and thoughts that I have. Um, but I don't have all that many grades, 15 grades total um, with a heavy emphasis on tests. This is the way college works. So um, this is, uh, I think, again, set up to, to transition between high school and college. Uh, laboratory work is always done in small groups. So you have a chance to use your notes. You have a chance to talk to me. You have a chance to talk to each other. Um, so usually students who are well prepared um, do well on labs. Some students hear that, oh yeah, I can just do it in my group, um, and don't come in very well prepared. They find that their lab grades are not very good. Okay. Um, there's additionally a website um, that should be linked through this YouTube channel as well, but here is the website right here if you'd like to go there and to look at um, some of the documents that I have posted there. Um, look through the unit study guides. That's sort of the material that we're going to be covering. You can look at the unit calendars to get a sense of, you know, of how quickly things go and what we do with our time. Um, and you can also see that there are practice quizzes there for every chapter. Um, you might not be able to access those without a user account but um, basically students have a chance to log in and sort of answer questions and they get immediate feedback um, as to whether they got the question right or wrong and why. So um, in summary, this is a very challenging course. Um, you need to be willing to work hard throughout the year in order to succeed um, and it will require a lot of, of, of work at home and work in class. Um, but that works good for you. Um, it will help prepare you for a potential career in science or for at least for some more advanced coursework at college. Um, and with those high expectations come a lot of resources to help you succeed. 
So uh, feel free to let me know if you have any additional questions. I'd love to talk. Um, feel free to talk with other students who have taken this course. They can give you additional perspective. And good luck in making your decision.